right since we've been on YouTube and a lot of things have changed. We'll talk more about that later, but I wanted to kind of get started. I got a choir here. Just be mindful, you're gonna hear the choir in the background. Um, but I wanted to just get started, kind of getting my day started. I have been putting off and putting off and putting off making videos because I wanted to have the perfect plot or like I wanted to, you know, make it this big theatric thing that's like well thought out and like, you know, all that good stuff. And that's important. Not that I won't do those things, but I don't want to let months and months and months keep going by without making this content because I'm trying to make it perfect, if that makes any sense. So this morning, I'm making a baked oatmeal. I just tidied up the kitchen. You know, as soon as you tidy up the kitchen, all of a sudden it's not tidy anymore. So I'm gonna put this baked oatmeal in the oven and then we'll finish straining the kitchen back up. Um, but I'm making a peach blueberry baked oatmeal. If you don't know what baked oatmeal is, it is oatmeal, eggs, milk, butter, and then you can kind of put whatever you want into it. Uh, I got this re recipe from uh, scratchpantry.com uh, from Becky over at Acre Homestead. Um, I love her, she's like my favorite YouTuber. So I have made this a couple times. The only way I've ever made it was strawberry and peach, but I don't have strawberries. I just have pe canned peaches and some frozen blueberries in the cap, in the freezer. I wanna get better about using what I have and not always feeling like I need to go to the store. And that comes with learning the kitchen, knowing how to really be in the kitchen. And so you only do that with practice. So I keep looking, y'all, my mom, bought the boys these yesterday. I need to take it in their room because it's in the kitchen. It doesn't need to be in here. But that's what I keep looking off it. So I'm gonna get started on that. And then we'll straight up the kitchen, I straight up my room. And maybe Jason and I'll check in before the end of this video about just kind of how things are going. A quick check in. We filmed a long drawn out, uh, not long drawn out, a detailed um, video about kind of where we've been, what's happened. I edited it and everything and didn't post it. It's been months since then. The information is still relevant, but I don't know. You guys let me know if you want me to post it, but maybe we'll do a quick check-in too, just on this video to let you guys know where we have been. All right, let's get started. There's things back there. If you see them, you just see them, okay? So <laughs> I am not necessarily this is not a place that i how do i say this without it sounding extra i didn't grow up in the kitchen in the sense of like that's not we we were workers in the sense of like you know i went to college got a degree i never really saw myself as what i am now which is stay at home mom even my husband and i were dating i was very vocal about the fact that that's just not something i felt like i could do i could not be a stay-at-home mom, I would get too bored and anxious, and I'm not really a person, this is gonna be very transparent, I'm not a person who does well with self-discipline. Like, I, if, I just need the structure of like a, a work job where people give you tasks. That's how I felt, and I still, still feel that way because it doesn't come natural to me to be a stay-at-home mom. Um, I have to push past a lot of my feelings and, uh, emotions and things that come naturally to me. Um, I said all that to say, that's kind of where the dynamic of this channel is going. Us kind of pushing and transitioning to a life that we have seen and we feel like fits the dynamic we would like, um, but it's not necessarily what we were taught. It's not necessarily something that we have physical examples of to go to and say, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? You know, I had a little gardening content. I believe I did um, before we stopped posting. Gardening is not something that comes easy to me because gardening requires that you get up and you follow these tasks and your girl can sleep till 10. She could sleep till two before she had these kids, but now it's still about 10 if they allow it. Uh, and that's not necessarily feasible for a garden. Uh, so. 
after watching these women online and just seeing it, I just feel like that's a life that I would like. I think that it would be cool. I think that it would be um, a good structure for my family, but I'm gonna have to change some things about myself. And so you guys are coming along for the journey and being here to see kind of the ups, the downs, the things that come natural, the things that don't necessarily come so natural and how we manage and keep up with all those things. So I'm gonna start making this baked oatmeal. I will link the peach and strawberry recipe down below so you can go and check it out. I don't necessarily like oatmeal, but I like this. Uh, I like to put a little honey on top of it. So, or maple syrup is good too. So I'm gonna make this, get the ingredients out. See you in a second. So this recipe calls for 10 eggs. I have done it with 10 eggs and it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not that it doesn't taste good, um, but I like the text. I like the texture better of it having less eggs. So I'm gonna put eight eggs in it. Uh, the reason why she put so many eggs in it is because she has chickens, and so she needs to be able to use all her eggs. I don't have any chickens. I would love some chickens, but I don't have any chickens. So you know, eggs are not cheap. They used to be. It used to be like oh, I go get some eggs. They cheap. Cheap eggs are not cheap anymore. So I'm gonna use eight eggs. And I think I had a plan for the other four eggs. I was gonna make salmon croquette with it, but they'll be in the refrigerator until we're ready to use them. Um, if y'all see my neck looking like it's kind of stiff, it's cause it is. I don't know if it's sleeping in the bed with two um, nine month olds or if it's my bed or if it's just how things have been the last couple weeks, but the girl all up in here in this area, not the best. So, I'm going to put eight eggs in here. Hey, you guys. So this is my first time doing a voiceover. So let's see if I mess it up. Let's see if I do great. Um, so, of course, I am just cracking eggs. Like I said, I cracked eight eggs because I don't like the texture of more than eight eggs. And then I'm scrambling, uh, whipping that wrist like it's stir fry. Uh, so I, I did it a lot because sometimes it gets like those eggy pieces in there and I didn't want that. And then we added the milk, the vanilla and the sugar. I do the most amount of sugar. I think it's a half a cup. The least you could do is a quarter of a cup. So I add a half. And then after that, I am putting us all in the sunken place and drinking my coffee and adding the oats. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing the blueberry and peach one. I will say it was not a fan favorite with my husband. He prefers the strawberry. And I would say I prefer it to the blueberries. Maybe I thought I like blueberries and I really don't. Um, it wasn't bad. I just don't think that that would be our family preference. I think the next one that I'm going to try is going to be banana peanut butter per Jason's request. So we'll see how it goes. All right, y'all, so this is the blueberry um, peach baked oatmeal. It's very watery right now, but it will not be when it's finished. Um, if you saw me add salt at the sprinkle at the top, that's not like sugary decor or anything. I forgot to put the salt in, so I added it on top and remix it again. I actually might mix it a little bit more because I feel like I see it. I definitely don't want to bite into a piece of salt. Um, but I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. Let's start off with doing it for 40 minutes because it always takes a little longer than I feel like it's gonna take. So we're gonna start with 40 minutes and then we'll check in and see if it's finished. I'm gonna tidy up a little bit and then I'll see you guys when it's finished. <laughs> Not the best lighting in here. Not the most clean. Um, so I'm going to tidy up. This is probably the best place. Tidy up our room. It is a mess. There is stuff everywhere. I don't even want to show y'all all the stuff because it's probably stuff that you don't need to see. Um, but I'm going to tie up our room and get it vacuumed. Today is Sunday, so it's just kind of like a reset day. My mom was here for the past week because uh, I had a medical issue. And so she came and helped me. Spent some time with me, helped with the boys. Let me get some rest, much needed rest. And so she left this morning. So we're going to try to get the house reset. I don't know. My dad comes uh a light every other sunday he tries to come every sunday but he has he has a lot going on so he might be coming this sunday i don't know if so then we need to kind of get this done quickly if not then we kind of have all day 
And then I also wanted to take the boys. My boys were born premature. They're twins. Lots of twins are born premature. Um, and so they spent a lot of time, not extremely long, about a month in the NICU. They are now nine months old. And so I want to take them up there to see some of the nurses that helped us and were just so kind and loving because I was in the hospital. Y'all will get into all this. I was in the hospital a long time before I had my boys. Then I had my boys and we were at the hospital a long time after. So we spent a lot of time with them. So that's kind of on our agenda today too. I don't know if we're going to get to it. I don't know if that's going to happen. I would love to. The nurse that they spent the most time with, she doesn't work today. So I think about going tomorrow when Jason's at work. But we'll see. We'll see what today holds. But for sure, this room needs to be You know it's done when it sets in the middle, so you can touch it in the middle. It's getting that brown, like all the way around. I actually could have let it go a little longer probably, but I don't want it to be too hard because if you leave it in here, it'll be tough. So yeah, that brown is all the way around. And that is our baked oatmeal. All right, y'all, so look, don't judge me. Don't judge this either. We're gonna get blackout curtains eventually, but it was just too bright in here. The boys could barely take a nap. Don't judge me, y'all, okay? I'm, I'm coming to y'all raw, first episode, first video back. Please don't. The boys' room is a mess. So because the boys don't really sleep in here, this room just becomes like a catch-all room. Like we we wash their clothes, they just end up in the bed. We bring in stuff from the car, this their stuff. We just put it in the room. Their car seats end up in this room. Toys end up in this room. Big boxes of open pampers. It's just a bunch of their stuff just ends up in this room. And it doesn't go to the place it's supposed to go because we don't, because they don't sleep in here. So, but that's no excuse. This room needs to be cleaned and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna get started. <laughs>
this was some ravioli that i picked up from sam's club i bought a bunch of them and y'all they are so easy to cook and put away though these are like top notch and this is just some sauce that i made from stuff i found in my refrigerator it's some ground beef that of course i had and then some pasta sauce that i'm going to show y'all and some leftover ravioli sauce i really thought i was doing something but then i googled it and that's just called pink sauce so i guess i really wasn't doing nothing but this is the ravioli the spinach ricotta ravioli they also had some tortellinis and that's the marinara sauce that i used once we mix it all together, it's what it looked like, y'all. It looks so good. It looked like I really was out here doing something interesting. And I just threw some things in a pot. So, quick, easy dinner. I was very proud of it, very happy. Um, Jason really liked it, and it was great. Hey, you guys. It's the next day. So, you guys saw, I did not finish the room. I ended up just kind of relaxing with the boys and... You know, spending some quality time with them, with Jason. I took a nice warm bath um, that was much needed. And then I, you guys saw I made dinner. And then we just kind of relaxed. I baked up some of those, baked up some of those cookies that I keep in my freezer. So I make like a big batch of cookies. I keep them in the freezer. That way, whenever Jason and I want cookies, which is often, uh, we don't have to, uh, I don't have to do any extra work. We just pull them out the freezer. I'll try to put a screenshot of the recipe that I use to make the cookies. I don't know. Something's different about it lately. I don't know if it's the products that I'm using or if it is like just maybe our taste buds are different. The flavor is great, but the texture of the cookies is not like I remember. So we are going to, I'm going to be looking for a new recipe as I kind of practice and not, not necessarily practice, but kind of shop around and see what I like and what I don't like. I'll let you guys know. And uh, I'll link, maybe show y'all making the the trial runs that I try to come up with because I'm not really feeling that recipe anymore. <sighs> we are going to try to be productive today. My whole house is sick. Uh, especially my boys, most importantly, my boys. I'm a little sneezy, got a little bit of congestion. You probably can hear a little bit in my throat. But the boys are just miserable, really. So I'm kind of trying to keep them in my room because that room stays the warmest, keep them warm, keep them, you know, with their medicine and rubbed up and all that good stuff. But in the midst of all that, I, I do want to kind of get some things done today. Jason took care of a lot of the laundry yesterday and put away a lot of it. Um, so there's a basket over here. I want to go ahead and take care of that. So that's out of the living room. I do want to finish the boys' room because I don't want to, I don't want to start and then not finish it. Because honestly, if I allow it, weeks will go by and it won't get done. So I don't, I don't want that to happen. Uh, and then of course we have dinner tonight. Um, so I made pasta. Um. I made pasta last night, which is what we were supposed to eat tonight, but it'll be fine. I made, I'm, I have some chicken in the freezer that I marinated, so I'm going to take that out. Um, and I made that a while ago, so we'll see if it's still amazing. It should be. It's made for the freezer, so I'm sure it'll taste great. And maybe we'll put that over some tacos. The only thing is we don't have all the other stuff we would need, like... Uh, like the salsa, tomatoes, all that good stuff, cheese. Uh, but maybe we'll put it over. You know what? We could put it over rice and put some beans over it. That sounds really good. Yeah, let's do that. And then other than that, the boys' room and tidying up the kitchen. I mean, the living room and putting away that basket. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself today. I do want to do... So I do want to do a paycheck budget, which is like just a budget to kind of get an idea um, of kind of where we are with our, not necessarily where we are, to get an idea of what bills are going to come out of what check. Jason gets paid on certain days, which is perfect. Um, before and when I was working, you know, you get paid every other Friday, which is good. Um, but it's nice to get paid on certain days because when you get paid on certain days, you always know that these bills come before this payday. As opposed to if you get paid every other Friday, this Friday might be the 12th, but next Friday might be 
I mean, the next month, that Friday might be the 15th. And so you your bill is always going to be due on the 14th. So I enjoy the fact that it's it comes out that way. Like it's um, that it comes out as a certain day as opposed to every other Friday. But to, in order to use that to its fullest capabilities, we do need to sit down and do that. Um, and since I have the free time Jason is working and uh, managing other things, it'll be nice to just kind of get that out the way. But I say all that and I hate doing it. So hopefully we'll get it done. As a person who truly does not... Uh, like like I said, it doesn't come naturally to me to like clean up stuff and stay tidy. I'm going to encourage you guys to tidy at least one space a day. Don't put too much pressure on yourself to try to clean up everything and try to do everything. Whether you're a mom, not a mom, college student, employee, I don't care who you are. Just tidy one space and try to keep that space as tidy as possible. I used to wonder why our moms used to come and tell us to pick our stuff up because you get tired of cleaning up the same rooms all the time. So if you just tidy it, keep it tidy, it'll look great all the time. I was literally about to come say, y'all, my shirt made the whole day. Did not. I'm not changing shirts. I'm not doing it. All right, y'all, so I'm about to get dinner started. You might hear some noise in the background. And that is my boys watching Gracie's Corner, which is their favorite show. Let me go take it actually. That's actually my favorite Gracie's Corner song. But I'm getting dinner on. Uh, I was saying I was gonna go take it off of the ad because they get a little feisty when the ads start playing. All right, so I have the rice already cooking. Um, so I, I assume most people know how to make rice, but I, at the same time I don't because it took me a long time to be able to say I can make rice confidently without having to call somebody or look it up. So it is a one to two ratio, meaning one cups, one cup rice to two cups liquid. Uh, and then 20, you cook it for 20 minutes. What I do is I bring the water to the boil, I add the rice, I bring it back to a boil, and then I, um, leave it covered turn it down leave it covered for 20 minutes and then after that it should be ready i would say maybe you could get away with not having to do two boils i want to try that i feel like that's what i was told but you know we do what we want to do so i'm gonna try the next time to not bring it to a boil the first time and just go immediately and just drop the rice in and also a butter y'all i'm in the boys room i'm not gonna be doing a lot of talking because they're sleeping and i don't know if y'all know this but 
you can hear through vents in your house from room to room so i don't want to disturb them i don't want them to disturb me but i at least try to knock out some of this room so i'm going to start with the clothes putting those away getting those situated and then we'll make our way to the other sections of this room <music> It took me, what, three days on and off to kind of get it done. You see Evan hanging out with me. But all in all, I am so grateful for how the room turned out. And we have been utilizing this space so much more. Not only are the boys able to take their naps in there during the day, which is so much better for both of us because, well, all three of us, because I can be free in the living room and not have to worry about being too loud or bumping or walking too hard but also they get used to their room because eventually they're going to be sleeping in there and this is what the room looks like finally like i said it looks so good so clean we have kept it clean for at least three days now so i'm pretty happy with it thanks for tuning in please like comment and subscribe you guys we are basically a new channel all over again so we would really appreciate if you shared told people about us uh, like i said we are growing we are developing operating outside of ourselves and becoming a better version so that we can reach those goals like i said tune in for our next video like comment subscribe till next time see ya